Hello, my name is Franklin McMahon from Franklin McMahon Studio. We do video production, photography, web development, marketing, all kinds of creative stuff. The website is right on the screen there. So our question today is, Ted has a question. He actually wants to know, when you're doing an email newsletter, how do you choose the good, a good subject line? You know, how do you do something that really has some zing to it to get people to open the email? Because uh, I guess he has a lot of people who don't, you know, he's been tracking it. A lot of people don't read his email newsletters, which is unfortunate. So darn it, we're going to help you, Ted. Uh, the only thing I can say about that is make, sh- make it something that is kind of intriguing. It ties into one of the topics in the newsletter, but it kind of stands on its own and gets people to investigate. So when people just read the subject line, they're kind of deciding if they're going to actually, you know, go through and read the whole newsletter. So you want to pick something that's very short, very concise, but also kind of intriguing that leads people in. So the one thing that you shouldn't do is call it a newsletter, okay? If you have, you know, March newsletter, July newsletter, you know, you can almost guarantee it won't be read. It will be shuffled to another folder. I'll, I'll get to that later. It's a newsletter. It's probably a lot of info. It could, uh, you know, they could have a filter set up to actually just get rid of updates and newsletters. So you want to avoid being very, you know, this is a newsletter and have it be kind of intriguing and have it draw people into the newsletter. And also when you do a newsletter, make it pretty concise. I think uh, I've seen a lot of newsletters where people just jam like tons and tons of info, lots and lots of text. You want to keep it mainly images and, you know, a line or two of text, you know, and really click through to the website or click through for more information. I think people have a lot going on. They try to jam so much in, but people take one look at this. They're like, ah, you know what? I don't have time. I'll I'll read it later. And they put into a separate folder. And as we know, some of those separate folders never actually get read, unfortunately. So anyway, that's my suggestion. Something concise, quick, intriguing, and not generic. Not like, you know, April newsletter. You know, something that, that would not excite me. But something that was intriguing that would be good. And when you do the newsletter, keep it very concise, bullet points, nice, rich images, something that's captivating that, you know, the photography is really good that gets people really intrigued enough to kind of click through to whatever, the website or blog. So those are my suggestions. Thanks for the question. If you have a question, you can actually, you can ask me anything. The email is right on the screen there. Keep the questions flowing. We've got some great ones coming up. I I can't reveal what they are yet, but uh, stay tuned. My name's Franklin McMahon, and we'll talk to you soon. (music) 